Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the Oddmaster app and how to update the new TID Radio H3+. Plus. From my findings so far, I've done three updates. One thing I have learned is your regular K-Pen cable is not going to work. You want to order the TID Radio cable. Uh, that's the only one I've had success with. I've updated tons of radios and never had issues with my other cables but oddmaster does not like my other cables especially my baofeng cables so if you order the h3 plus you need to go ahead and order the tid radio programming cable you can use my affiliate code which is k reaper 92 that's k r e a p e r 92 uh, to get a 5% discount on that and any other TID Radio products. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open this up and sign in. You do have to create an account for Oddmaster to be able to update your radio. You also do have to solve a little puzzle to get in. Uh, just slide the piece over. It's pretty simple. All right. So once you're signed in, you're going to go over here to the left in this area. And you're going to scroll down until you see TID Radio H3 Plus and... I have the unlocked version. Slide this little scroll over. All right, so right here it is. And as you'll see up here in the middle, it says firmware update. We're going to click that right there. All right, the next thing you're going to want to do is refresh port list. Find those ports. And we're going to be updating to V1.23. And down here in the corner, you'll see me hooking up the radio. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. All right. So at this point, we're going to hold down our PTT button, our number one, and we're going to turn the knob to get it into firmware upgrade mode. So PTT one, turn that knob. And you see those two green lights come on. And then we're just going to hook up our K-pin like that. All right. And then at this point, we're going to select our port. All right. There's our port. And we're going to hit Start Firmware Upgrade. All right. And as you can see, it's updating. You're going to have a lot of stuff scrolling by here on your upgrade log. We're at 2%. Do not unplug it. Do not stop it. This can cause the radio to lock up. You want to let it complete. If it says failed, give it a minute to start back up. All right, so as you can see right there, it failed, but it started right back up. So that's why you want to leave it alone and let it do its own process there. All right, as you can see now, it's failed a couple times, but it's starting to pick up the pace and it's slowly getting caught up there. We're now at 21%. We will leave the link to the TID Radio H3 Plus in the description. We will also have our referral link that gives you $10 off on a first-time purchase. And we'll also leave that code again, which is KREAPER92, to get 5% off all purchases. And if you haven't followed us yet or subscribed to us, please do so uh, and learn with us as we learn. It's all a learning process. And uh, comment where you're seeing us at. We love to hear uh, where people are viewing us from. All right, we're now at 55%, slowly but surely getting there. It's been about three minutes. So like I said, be patient and hang in tight there. 
Also, if for some reason your radio was to stop working, they have created a program that's very easy for people to use that will bring your radio back. I will do my best to put a link to that in the description. If for some reason I do not, feel free to comment or leave me a message and I'll do my best to get that firmware to you. You can also uh, join the TID Radio. It's the new tid radio h3 support i think it is i'll try to tag a link to that in the youtube description as well all right y'all we're getting close we're at 94 percent. let's see what she's gonna do All right, so we're failing a little bit here at the end on 99%. Let's see if it's going to pull through. If not, don't stress it out. There is a way to reverse it if it doesn't work. So do not freak out about updating the radio. All right, and the radio is turning back on now. Let's see if it's going to work. All right, so now that we updated, I just want to show you all that it's updated. So we're going to hit menu and we're going to go down to option three, radio info. Hit that again. And as you can see, we're 1.0.23. Now, when I finished updating, my screen was extremely dark, so I want to show you, if you can't see your screen, how to fix that so you don't think your radio's bricked. I mean, it was so dark, you could barely tell the screen was on. Some of you may not even be able to tell it's on. So we're going to hit Menu, and we're going to go to the first menu. So we're going to hit Menu again, and then we're going to count 12. Because we're going to menu 13, but we're going to count 12 clicks because we're already on menu 1. And you're going to click that, and then you're going to go 1, 2, 3. And we're going to hit menu again and save that, and your screen brightness should be turned up. Thanks for following and watching today. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me or leave them in the comments. This is the Night Reaper. We're waving 7-3, and we're gone.